Hello, welcome to the assessment in CBL topic. In this video, we will talk about formative assessment. Later on, we will talk about summative assessment. A quote by Robert Stake clearly illustrates the difference between the two. When the cook tastes the soup, that's formative. When the guest tastes the soup, that's summative. So what is formative assessment? Formative assessment is applied continuously during the entire CBL process. It guides and facilitates student learning. Thus, formative assessment is used for learning purposes to improve learning, conducted during the learning progress, focused on the learning process and progress, performed in a collaborative manner by relevant teaching and learning participants, used to measure learning, provide feedback, and if necessary, adjust the lesson. What are its benefits for the teacher and for the students? Let's first discuss the benefits for the teachers. Formative assessment helps to determine the necessary scaffolding by detecting the student's strengths, knowledge, and learning gaps. It can be used to reflect on the applied instructional design and adapt it depending on the student feedback. It provides the opportunities to guide learning by giving feedback. And what are the benefits for students? It detects the understanding level or the progress of skill development. It determines the areas that need additional review and study. It creates the opportunities for self-regulating learning strategies, and it ensures the possibility for feedback and guidance. Now, let's talk about who can perform the formative assessment. Certainly, the teacher is the main assessor. In addition to the teacher, assessment can be performed by students, teachers representing other disciplines, or external participants representing a private or public sector. Let's talk about students assessing students. Students may be conducting self-assessment through such methods as reflections or learning diaries or learning journals. Students can also be conducting a peer or a team assessment, for instance, using the rubric. Student feedback provision may happen through online written, audio, or video interactions. Now, let's talk about teachers or the other disciplines who can also be assessors. In the interdisciplinary CBL, teachers of different relevant disciplines may participate. For instance, a teacher from the marketing may come to review and provide feedback on how well the student team is doing conducting a market analysis. Or a teacher from finance may reflect on the budget calculation. External participants may participate as assessors as well. The external representatives of a certain relevant private sector or public sector may visit upon an invitation of the teacher to review the student work and to comment from the practical perspective how applicable it is in the real world. Or an intermediate board of reviewers could assess the, mid the middle of the road of the team's work and give the mid-course feedback and assessment. Let us move on to the next video where we will talk about formative assessment methods.